It's actually normal to be frustrated by church. It's normal to be frustrated by other Christians. I really don't know how you could spend much time in church and not get frustrated. I would actually go so far as to say that that frustration is part of the sanctification process that God intends for us in church. Now, to be clear, some people are in abusive situations where it goes well beyond frustration and it gets into the perspective of, of danger and you need to separate from that kind of situation. That, that happens too often. But that frustration, some of that friction that we feel in churches is entirely normal, even expected, and it's what drives us to understand how we need other people. We need other people in unexpected ways. We need younger believers that we can disciple, that we can teach. We need older believers who will do that for us. But we even need the reverse of that. We need older believers who are willing to submit to younger leaders in the church. We need uh, younger people who are willing to take the, the lead. We, we need all kinds of those different relationships in multiple directions inside the church. I think about Philippians 2, when the Apostle Paul talks about Timothy, his protege, and he talks about sending Timothy, and he says, I don't know anybody else who is so concerned for the welfare of people. And that's what the, the gathered assembly of the church offers us, is those people who are obligated before God, who have entered into a covenant relationship with us as leaders and as members, who are concerned for our welfare. So yes, sometimes it becomes frustrating because our leaders mess up, because people are kind of obnoxious, they wear the wrong perfumes, they say the wrong things. There's just all kinds of frustrations in the church. But I think that's exactly what God intends to be able to show us of what love looks like, love across difference, love across friction, love that points to the blood of Christ, which alone draws us together in the church.